and I also put a plastic bag over my hair so that way it will preserve the moisture and I put it into two buns. This is also a good technique if you want to stretch your hair while you're doing things around the house and then you can just separate and it will give you looser curls. So now I'm about to part my hair in the way I want it to go. Alright, so I've already parted my hair on the direction that I want my hair to lay. Now you can do a middle part or a part on the other side. I plan on flipping this part to create volume when my hair has been um, taken out of the twists. So now I'm just putting my conditioner in, which is the Diva Curl Conditioner, and I am spreading it throughout my hair. Now this is just a demo. You can use other products, which I do plan on doing other videos that will show you results with different products. So now I'm putting my almond oil in my hair to seal in the moisture and I'm just detangling. Now this is my Mason Pearson comb. You can also use a paddle brush. So now I'm twisting my hair in a downward motion and I'm pretty good at twisting. I just can't flat twist or cornrow braid. So to keep my hair weighted down I use bobby pins or you can use flexi rod rollers or perm rods once you get done with the twists. But I like to use bobby pins at least in the beginning. Um, you want to make sure you take the bobby pins out um, which I will show later because it'll kind of flatten the curl, but in the beginning it's great to use a bobby pin just to hold down the twists. And I'm playing with baby, so I'm going to come in and out a few times. So I'm just twisting my hair in sections and I try to just go along with how my hair is naturally parting. And I'll show one more twist and then I'm going to fast forward to the end. You want to make sure as you're twisting down the hair that you're smoothing the hair with your fingers. And I'll slow it down on the next one so you guys can see what I mean. Okay, so I'm just sectioning off a piece of hair, detangling it with my comb. And detangling is definitely important for a twist out or a braid out. You want to detangle before you twist because it's going to definitely help set the pattern and so you don't have tangles when you take your hair down. Okay, so you can see as I'm separating, I am smoothing the curls down. And I'm going to show you guys a little short piece of hair. I think it's this one. But yeah, you want to smooth the hair as you're twisting the hair, so it'll have smooth results at the end. And then when you get to the end, you're just going to bobby pin to hold it in place. Okay, so this is the last section. Twisting my hair took about 20 minutes. But part of that is because I was also entertaining my baby, which is why you see me laughing and singing. So it normally would have taken probably about 15 minutes to twist my entire head. So I'm going to put the last bobby pin on and then I will show you guys the total twists. I did a total of 10 twists in all. And depending on how big you want your hair, you can do less twists. Speed up drying time, I am going to use the Golden Hot dryer, which I'm showing you guys how to connect it. Now normally I would sit under this for a little bit longer, but like I said, I'm entertaining baby, so you'll see him in a little second. So you just connect the hooded part and then there's a drawstring so you can adjust it and it keeps all the air in, so it's a really great um, portable dryer. You can also let your hair air dry if you'd like. You say hi. Hi. Ladies. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
So I am showing you guys an option you can do to get a curl at the end. You can put flexi rods on your hair or you can put perm rods um, depending on the type of curl you want. I do recommend doing this when you have time to air dry or sleep with them overnight. I definitely didn't have time to let these set because I was entertaining baby and we had to go so yeah if you want defined set curls then I recommend sleeping with them overnight or sitting in the dryer for a lot longer. I only sit on the dryer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Normally I'd like to sit under there for at least 30 so that it, my hair can really dry. And a way you can tell whether your hair is actually dry or not is if your hair is cool to the touch then it's still a little bit damp which my hair was a little bit damp even when I took it down. But I still got good results so I will fast forward and show you guys the takedown. Okay, we've made it to the takedown. Alright guys, so I do not know how to do short videos because I, when I watch videos I like to see the entire process. So if this is too long for you, I apologize, but I will try to get better at editing out what doesn't need to be in. So let me, let me know if you guys think this is too long, what you think can be taken out, um, what you would like to see that maybe I missed. So right now I'm just separating the curls and when I take the twists apart, I don't like to manipulate them at all. Like I said, my hair is a tad damp. It's not wet, but it's a tad damp. So the curls are a little bit frizzy, but um, I still love the results. You guys will see. I also oiled my hands before I started taking them down to kind of diminish the amount of frizz that would be there. These are the finished results. If you want to see how my hair looked later on in the day, I will have pictures on Instagram so you can see the car selfies because of course the hair gets a little bit bigger as the day goes on. And that is about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this demo tutorial and let me know what you guys want to see next. I definitely want to show you guys different tutorials, bantu knots, and things like that. So I will talk to you guys later. Peace.